We'll call the meeting to order and ask the secretary to call the roll. Mr. Fiddler. Here. Mr. Overland. Mr. Love. Here. Mr. Burridge. Here. Mr. Huckabee. Here. Mr. Alexander. Here. Mr. Burgess. Here. Mr. Regan. Here. The chair dec declares a quorum to conduct business and we'll recognize uh, uh, Don Sullivan for an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary, members of the commission. I am really pleased to introduce to you Matt. Matt Swift. Uh, Matt Swift has recently been named the Division Engineer for the Strategic Asset and Performance Management Division here in the Central Office. Previously, he served as the Pavement Management Engineer, and he will oversee the department's data collection, reporting uh, of our o ODOT Highway Asset Management and Performance Measurement Systems as well as our GIS system and all the mapping that, that we do. Uh, Matt began his career at ODOT in 04 as the project engineer in roadway design, and he held that position until becoming the pavement management engineer in the current SAPM division. In 2015, Matt was selected to represent Oklahoma in the first emerging leaders program for the uh, Western Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials, who we, you know, we love, lovingly call uh, WASHTO. Uh, Swift holds a bachelor's degree in civil engineering from the University of Arkansas and a master's degree in business administration from the University of Central Oklahoma, home of the Broncos. Uh, he and his wife have three children and they live in Jones, Oklahoma. Help me th congratulate Matt. That's super. Congratulations. But also, Rec like to recognize our director of engineering, Tim Tegler, for an announcement. Thank you. Chad Penley, please. I don't know how he got so far in the back row. He must have came down after our pre-meeting. But anyway, Mr. Chad Penley is our new traffic engineer for, for the Department of Transportation. He was born and raised in a small town in West Texas. His parents and grandparents were raised in eastern Oklahoma. He attended a college in University of Texas and Texas Tech in civil engineering prior to moving to Dallas for a full-time construction inspector uh, job for Texas DOT. While working at Texas DOT, he completed his degree at the University of North Texas, earning his BS in construction engineering technology. And then he, after he earned his degree, he spent 17 years in the consulting uh, engineer in the private sector. He and his family moved to Oklahoma in 2012 and began his career in Division II as the traffic engineer. Chad and his wife were married in 1994 and have five children and three grandchildren. So please help me welcome Chad Penley. Thank you and congratulations. Uh, we'll move to the announcements and presentations. Are you gonna make those, Mr. Director, or is who's gonna make that? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, <laughs> members of the commission, Mr. Secretary. On uh, at, a, at a recent awards banquet, AGC awards banquet, excuse me, uh, the FARO award was handed out, as it routinely is at that um, banquet. And it, this year, the Salisaw Residency and Division Two, excuse me, Division One, was the recipient of the Pharaoh Award for their efforts in completing a county bridge through the CIRB program. It is the Cooks Combs, thank you, Combs uh, Road Bridge. And I would like for our division engineer from Division One to come up and receive this on behalf of the Salisaw Residency. And Mr. Chairman, if you could join us for a picture, that would be great. So Chris, could you come up? Johnny Fiddler, you gotta jump in there too, buddy.
somebody that actually works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm fond of that. That's all right. gentleman here helped us on the I-40 bridge at Weber's Falls greatly without his help we would have had a difficult time. I think Eric Schlegel will attest to that. Thank you, Director Patterson. We will uh, entertain a motion for item number 169 is the approval of the minutes of the meeting of November the 7th. We have a motion. Second. We have a second. Please vote. Thank you. Motion passes. Item number 170 through 173 are the items that are included on the consent document docket. Uh, we will take any item out that any commissioner would like to discuss uh, independent. Otherwise, we'll entertain a motion for the entire consent docket. We have a motion. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we are ready to vote. Motion passes. Item number 174 will be presented by Mr. Tiegler. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, Mr. Secretary. <laughs> Item 174 of the engineering contracts this month. I have two. The first one is a statewide all district state bridge rehabilitation contract. We've selected six firms to support the department staff provide engineering services upon demand. This is with Benham Design, CEC Corporation, EST, MKEC Engineering, Olson Associates, and Tetra Tech. The aggregate not to, to exceed amount for these six contracts are $1,500,000. We'll be with 100% uh, state funds. Part B, also statewide on demand engineering services. We've selected six firms to help our staff to provide engineering services upon demand, general engineering, with Atkins North America, Garber, MacArthur Associated Consultants, Olson Associates, Smith Roberts Baldeschweiler, and also Tetra Tech. This is also a not to exceed $1,500,000 for, the, for these six contracts, also 100% state funds. Approval is recommended. Answer any questions if you have any. You've heard the presentation. What's your pleasure for item 174? Motion for approval. We have a motion to approve. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we are ready to vote. Motion passes. Thank you, Mr. Tigler. Item number 175. Item 175, our engineering contract supplements have won this month. It's in Caddo County. We've selected Garber to perform engineering and final design plans for US 62. This is uh, a not to exceed $1,204,800. This project is in our eight year construction work plan in 2023. Approval is recommended. I'll answer any questions if you have any. Thank Heard you. the presentation for item 175. We approve. We have a motion to approve. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we are ready to vote. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tigler. Mr. Adkins is ready to present item 176, the lettings. 
Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary, members of the Commission, Item 176 consists of the final February, the tentative March, and the tentative April 2017 bid openings. The Department recommends approval of Item 176. Heard the presentation of Item 176. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Have a motion to approve? Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, please vote. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Adkins. Mr. Raymond will present the uh, change orders with a total balance of 50000 or less in the cumulative as an information item. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary, members of the Commission. I'd like to present item 177, parts A through M. These represent the change orders on projects with a cumulative total of $50,000 or less. This item is for your information only. No action is necessary, but I'll be glad to try to answer any questions you might have. Do you have any questions regarding this item? If not, we'll move to item 178. Thank you. I'd like to present item 178, parts A through U. These represent the change orders on projects with a total greater than 50,000, and your approval is recommended. Anybody have any questions for Mr. Raymond? Do we have a motion? Motion to approve item 178. We have a motion to approve. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, please vote. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Raymond. Uh, Mr. Dels will present the awards. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary, Commissioners. Item 179 are our recommendations for the no November 17th bid opening. It is recommended that the following items from the November 17, 2016 bid opening referred to by call order be awarded. That's call orders 10, 30, 45, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 160, 165, 170, 180, 190, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 290, 300, 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 360, and 370. This includes recommendations for award, and your approval is recommended. Thank you, sir. Anybody have any questions? Items have been presented. What's your pleasure? Motion approved. Let's have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, please vote. Motion passes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Commissioners. We are ready for you, Mr. Director, item 180. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the Commission, Mr. Secretary. Just have a couple of items that I want to visit about. First of all, thank you for the awards that you just did. One of, there's a project in there that's significant to this agency and certainly to the state, and it's at I-35 and I-240, it's the eastbound to southbound connection. It is the next phase in that whole reconstruction of the I-240-35 interchange, and it is one of the most uh, dangerous locations we have in the state of Oklahoma. So we have been working on this for many, many years. Secretary Ridley knows full well what I'm speaking of, and this is just that final construction that can really be a game changer for the Oklahoma City area and certainly the intersection of two interstate highways. So thank you for allowing us to continue with that. During the legislative session, there was uh, part of the compromise was that the department would provide some cash and revenues and be offset with the bond issues. As you know, we issued our bonds and closed on those a couple of months ago. One of the provisions was that on December 1st, the Office of Management and Enterprise Services would come get $200 million from us, and they did so on December 1st. And so we're going to continue to work through those cash flow challenges that that presents to us. And uh, But I just wanted to let you know that that was the next thing in the in the budget compromise that would occur, and it did in fact occur. So uh, there are a lot of state agencies that, here in Oklahoma that are happy that happened. In fact, I got a, 
couple of emails that day uh, telling us thank you for being part of that compromise and helping those agencies continue their operations. The last thing I want to mention just very quickly is the, uh, there's been some discussion recently by the Incentive Review Commission about the Industrial Access Program. Uh, a lot of discussion and they uh, last week they the Commission decided to not take the recommendation of the consultant and keep the industrial access program in place so we will continue with that effort until told otherwise but it's proven to be a very effective and efficient way to help mitigate traffic issues that when industry moves to Oklahoma and then we can provide those safety accesses that we need to before rather than later after something catastrophic occurs. Mr. Chairman, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Anybody have any questions of the director? Appreciate everything you do. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At this time, I'd like to call on the secretary uh, and also mention that uh, it continues to be an honor to serve with such a talented and professional organization as you guys have. Uh, and your leadership this year and past years have been excellent. Mr. Secretary, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you know, uh, during the past few years, I figured out that that during my tenure here, uh, I started a few things, and um, as evident here, are some things I'm not quite as proud of as I, I once was. Um, Didn't turn out quite right. Quite did. right, Just, yeah. But um, uh, so I've kind of been known as a starter, uh, but Director Patterson is becoming quickly known as the finisher. Um, him and I drove the connection that uh, David Streb and John Bowman and a lot of other folks and, and Tim that you all worked on for years on the connection on the east side of the of Oklahoma City uh, crosstown that connect, that ties the downtown Oklahoma City area back to the interstate, both I-235, I-35, and I-40. And, uh, you know, when that was all being built and laid out, I wasn't too sure how all that was going to work, but Director Patterson and I drove that here the other day. And that was opened with a lot of not much fanfare. I mean, it was just quietly opened up and, and that connection made. But I want to tell you that the designers and the contractors and the thinkers, the smart people in the room, uh, really, if you haven't had a chance to drive that, you need to drive it. It all works very, very well. And uh, again, I, you, you all opened it without uh, ribbon cutting and a big fanfare, you know, uh, but I think people need to recognize that that was, uh, that works pretty smooth and it was a long time coming and, and I was sure proud of, uh, of the department and, and completing that section and getting ready for the final section, which is the boulevard itself. But again, congratulations to the agency uh, for that effort and we really appreciate that. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Is there anything else to come before the commission? If not, we'll hear a motion to adjourn to the poll to install the correct football. We have a motion. Second. And we have a second. We'll vote. And we're adjourned.